down by the canal. Let me just put the auto DJ on. I might be uh, having trouble. Oh! Did you lose your hat? No. Just about, yeah. Just breaking it underneath and I can feel it tugging, so... Yeah. So, I started my recording and then I forgot to check and it wasn't turning, so... Oh, so you started it again. I started it again, yeah. Huh. I can just recap what I said. The distance is still recording and everything else. It's just the audio that I missed a little bit. How far have we got? Two. So we go to the Blue Bridge and turn, and then we can take it all the way back to the house to make up for the bit that I missed in terms of the audio. Because we'll have the wind behind us then. It should be enough. It doesn't matter if the show is a little short. We'll have the wind behind us then, and it won't be nearly as noisy. I'm going to jog ahead, okay? But I'll turn at the Blue Bridge. I can't shake her off. Not too many people out today. They must have decided to take it easy today. Being, what is it, Palm Sunday? Whoa! There she goes, racing away. on today because I'm not too sure how much you'll hear of me over the wind noise but the music will survive this was the, where the boot was Saxy. Yeah. Pierre Saxy Ahead, I could see the cottonwood tree. This is like a 35 kilometer wind from the north. It's going to be a lot warmer coming back because uh, the wind will be behind us. old cottonwood tree is flapping away like crazy. Today when we get back I'll be cooking turkey breast chasseur. Sauteed turkey breast cut in small cubes stir-fried with garlic, mushrooms, and onions. And served with enormous, famous, roasted vegetables. I am sure you can hear the wind. I am approaching the Blue Bridge where I will make my turn. It's been a very pleasant three and a bit weeks so far. We have about ten days more here in Provence. As I turn to head back, Ooh. 
that's better. I will wait for Norma. <laughs> Good stuff. It's so much easier coming this way now. Okay, and now a gentle jog home with the wind behind us. Oh, what a difference it makes. This is more like it. Sorry about that first little bit of noise. Probably Time for hydration. four or five Halfway minutes of intense wind noise. I don't know even if my wind sock could have stopped that. It is a sock by, oh, by the way, and the holes in the knit are big enough to let the wind through, but hopefully not too much. Now we should be fine. As I pass the cottonwood tree for the second time, next to the big canal. Still waiting for a show from Jim and Anthony. One minute fifty eight seconds ahead. I sent him a picture of that train, a photograph of the high speed train. That sucker cruises at a hundred miles an hour. Beautiful, beautiful train. And very cheap. Public transport here is well subsidized, so many people use it. Not on that particular day, the train carriage was almost empty, but they do sell tickets like they do for airplanes. And there are times when the train is full, but we were traveling off peak. That was the day we went to Avignon, the home of the Pope, for many years. Not sure which Pope, maybe Pius, Pope Pius, Pius the Ninth, I think it was, P. Neuf. Not sure about that, maybe it was Pope Clement, but he had his own palace built with a bridge to get across the Rhone River so he was isolated he could easily have sealed himself off from invasion I have had some app crap lately nothing major just the usual problems limited storage I'm going to check on my recording now once again, am I still turning? So hard to see. Yep, I'm still turning. We've done one bit of music, now we're on to another bit of music. Pretty soon. I'll check again when we get closer to town. We're up to about nine and a half minutes now. Again. That's the mustard flower. I don't have a pocket for it today. Do you want to put it in there? Hmm. Yeah, now I have to stop talking while I chew the mustard flower. There's no way we are running at the speed of the wind because today's wind was clocked at 35k. 
so it's going past us at about 30k from behind us. Flowers really do taste of mustard. There are those yellow flowers that I took a picture of the other day. A whole field of yellow. Van Gogh's yellow. So soon we're going to, going to be taking a, a right turn onto the Rubin de Roi, the drainage canal of the, of the king. So I think this is weak that we've been here. We have about 10 days more. We leave on the 24th or the 25th. Norma and her friend Anne were here in Arles almost exactly the same time last year. She said there was nowhere near as much wind that that year. More mustard. Look at all that mustard. We're gonna have the turkey, stir-fried turkey with mushrooms, garlic and onion with enormous famous roasted cauliflower with sweet potato. And then tonight I will probably do some rice. Rice and beans. Green beans. A lovely flat beans. The broad type of bean. dark green colour when it's being cooked. It's the bean that they use when they make paella. I could almost make a paella. I don't really know how much turkey we have, but we could have turkey for lunch and turkey for supper. Here we eat a lot of lean meat. Norma's not a big meat eater, but she will eat turkey. So I'm buying turkey for us to eat. So I've taken a turn. I now have a cross coming from my right hand side. Opposite us, as you might know, where we're living is a very big church and since we've been here we've seen a funeral a christening and a wedding yesterday today there might be some Palm Sunday activity we'll see they cleaned the street and took away the garbage this morning which is admirable for a Catholic country on a Sunday, a holiday Sunday. Mind you, they do clear the streets very often here, almost daily. Our host couldn't believe in Victoria we only get garbage collection every second. I can see the spire of our church as a special treat today 
I'm going to play the peal of bells that I heard yesterday. I think the bells were for the baptism, the christening, whatever. Baptism, christening, not sure. I think it amounts to the same thing. It's the acceptance of the child into the church. But once again, there was a big assembly of relatives in the parking lot in front of our house. They spend a lot of time kissing each other on the cheeks. The men as well. The men kiss each other cheek, lips to cheek. The women tend to just do cheek to cheek so they don't smudge their makeup. I think that's why they don't kiss with their lips. But even some of these tough looking hoods that we have selling dope in our square, they kiss each other when they see each other. They must be all of 16 or 17, but I guess it's a bit like the, uh, the clan handshake. They have their own special way of kissing. I think they do it four times. One, two, three, four, like that. Let me see what's going on with the timing of this recording. I'm just going into the shade so I can see the numbers. Well, I'll catch up with you in a little while. Let's see. We're up to uh, 17, and uh, Bunny Fufu is playing. This is where I crossed the canal again. Putting the phone away. Checking where the microphone is. I might be able to shield it a little bit, depending where that tiny little hole is. Because that is the hole that the sound is recorded through. There's another grill with more space, but that's the loudspeaker. That's the speaker from the uh, bottom of the iPhone 6. The other side of the iPhone 6 is the headphone socket and the tiny pinhole which is the speaker the microphone, sorry today's episode might be a little shorter than usual only because I missed the first 10 minutes I hadn't pressed start probably just as well so I have eliminated a lot of Super noisy stuff. Hello again. Yeah, I found my numbers. I'm up to about 19 minutes now. It's okay. When we stop, when we get home, I'll stop it at the front door. So it'll be recording us walking up the steps. Well, you decide. You want to take the street? Okay. It is slightly longer, I think. But, yeah, it does a bit of a corner that we don't need to do. But there's less uh, climbing. It's not quite as steep as the stairs. Yeah. The cobble stairs of our back laneway past Pablito's Graffiti. Well, do you want me to, to take the key or? No, no, I can wait outside. It's nice and sunny. I'll wait outside for you. <laughs> I'll see you back at the ranch. You got one last chance to out sprint me. Nope, she's pulling away from me once again. 
my body is just not used to anaerobic exercise. Talking of major achievements, not that anything I do these days is major, but Tim, he ran his first 50k yesterday. Once again, you out sprinted me. So I'm stepping over the wall again. Pretty soon I'll be in there. In the echoey shelter of the Tunnel of Love. Not certain of the episode name today, but it's going to have to have something to do with wind. Maybe that's what I'll call it. Something to do with wind. As I cross the street with the green man, this is the part of the sidewalk where I was forced to walk on Wednesday because there was a street market here and I did look kind of suspiciously like a purse snatcher yesterday on Wednesday. So I've already forgotten going to be something about the wind. That's right. Something about the wind. Today is the end of a busy week of training. We've been on average doing an hour of jogging and at least an hour of walking every day. So I've had to curb my enthusiasm lately because I knew I was going to get my 10 hours without any issues whatsoever. Okay, so we're under the walls of the city, beside this walled city of Arles, of which we live part of the wall, backs onto the church. All right. This is the cobbled laneway that leads to the back of our house. This was one of those pictures that I took in the first week when we were exploring our immediate neighborhood. There's a woman painting her front door. They have strict color codes here. Nothing can be bright and shiny. Everything has to be subtle tones, pastel colors. So the minute I get in, I'll post this episode, stop my tracking app. Hopefully it hasn't crapped out on me. I did find a way of reducing the amount of Uh, material on Google Photo. That's where most of my data has been gobbled up. All these pictures that I take. I'm a bit of a shutterbug, as you know. Let me take one more picture for this episode. Sorry about the wind. As it comes out of the sock.
shutters, but you will see what I mean about subdued colors. They don't allow anything bright. It would be, it would be uh, garish, let's say. All right, so I'm at the front door now. Norma's not far behind me as I pause the app. Taking one more picture of the church. All right. Now, let's hear the bells. Workout finished. Time for hydration. So these are the bells. I got my 40 minutes done. Even without stopping the app, it's told me that I've done my 40 minutes, which was the plan. Let me stop that app. As the bells continue to ring. Workout paused. Workout stop. Alright. Hello, Norma. Let me just stop the tracking app. It got, it, when I got to the door, it said 40 minutes, so that was perfect. I'm not exactly sure how much I have recorded, but that's going to be what it is. Stop. And... The garbage is done. The garbage is gone, yeah. And I have to stop this one, too. Once it finishes telling me that... Strava and Relive has my app, has my workout recorded. Alright, bye bye everyone.